Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the parallel lines cut by a transversa. So let's say we have here parallel lines. We have M and L. So parallel lines. Line M and L are parallel. Cut by a transversal N. So cut by a transversal N. Then we have the following angles. We have angle 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. Now, you will encounter the following terms. We have the interior angles, same side interior angles, alternate interior angles, consecutive interior angles, the exterior angles, same side exterior angles, corresponding angles, linear pairs, and vertical angles. Now, using this illustration, we're going to find the interior angles. Okay? So, interior angles, from the word itself, interior means inside. Okay? These are the angle formed by the parallel line and the transversal. So, our interior angles here are angle 3. Angle 4, Angle 5, and Angle 6. Okay. Those are our interior angles. Next, same side interior angles. So the same sides are same side. So we're talking with 4 and 5. So interior. So Angle 4 and angle 5 another is angle 3 and angle 6 okay. so those are the same side interior angle same side next alternate interior angles so it's, we're still at interior angles so interior angles alternate we have 4 and 6 Angle 4 and angle 6. We also have angle 3 and angle 5. Okay. So those are the alternate interior angles. Next, consecutive interior angles. So consecutive interior so these are the angles next to each other. So consecutive interior angles are, it can be angle 5 and angle 4. Or it can be angle 3 and angle 6. And we also have We also have letter E, exterior angles. These are the angles formed outside. Outside, exterior, the transversal, and the parallel line. So we have angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, and angle 8. Angle 8. Okay. Next, same side exterior angle. So, same side exterior, we have 1 and 8. Angle 1 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 7. Next, corresponding angles. When we say corresponding angles, one interior and one exterior. So, angle 4 and angle 8. Angle 4 and angle 8. It can be angle 2 and angle 7. Angle 2 and 
angle 7. Or it can be angle 1 and angle 5. Angle 1 and angle 5. Angle 2 and angle 6. Angle 2 and angle 6. Now, we have the linear pair. So, linear pair. Linear pair are supplementary. So, we have they lie on, on a straight line. So, angle 1 and angle 2. Angle 2. It can be angle 2 and angle 3. Angle 2 and angle 3. Angle 3 and angle 4. Angle 1 and 4. Here we have angle 5 and angle 6. Angle 6 and 7. Angle 7 and 8. And angle 5 and 8. So those are the linear pairs. And now we have the vertical angles. So vertical angles, we have 1 and 3. Angle 1 and angle 3. We have angle 2 and 4. Angle 2 and angle 4. We have angle 6 and 8. 6 and angle 8. And we have angle 5 and angle 7. So those are the interior angles, exterior angles, linear pairs, and vertical angles. The parallel lines and the uh, cut by a transversal. Next video will be the theorems about the exterior angles, or spotting angles, linear pairs, and vertical angles. Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the parallel lines cut by a transversal and the different definition, postulate, and theorems. Let's start with, if we have a parallel line cut by a transversal, vertical angles are congruent. Corresponding angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. Linear pairs are supplementary. When we say supplementary, the sum of their measures is equal to 180 degrees. Same side exterior angles are also supplementary. And same side exterior angles are also supplementary. Okay. So if you're going to add the two pair of angles, they will give or uh, the sum is equal to 180 degrees. Now, uh, to apply our postulate theorems and definitions, let's use this figure. Uh, in the figure, measure angle 2 is equal to 75 degrees. Find the measure of the remaining angles. So angle 2 is 75 degrees. Uh, that is the given. So we're going to find angle 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So let's start with measure angle 1. We know 1 and 2 are linear pair. So the sum of 1 and 2 is equal to 180 degrees. So 180 minus 75, that is 105. Okay. So measure angle 1 is equal to 105. Prison, linear pair. Okay. 1 and 2 are linear pair. Let us complete because, because measure angle 1, uh, because angle 1 and angle 2 are linear pairs. Okay. Next, measure angle 3. Okay. If this is 105 and angle 2 is 75 degrees, Measure angle 3 is also 105 degrees. Why? Vertical angles are congruent. 1 and 3 are vertical angles. So, angle 1 
and angle 3 are vertical angles. Next, angle 4. So measure angle 4 is equal to 75 degrees. Reason? Angle 3 and angle 4 are vertical angles. Next, angle 5. So measure of angle 5 is equal to so corresponding angles. Do you have corresponding angles here? No, we don't have. So we can use the theorem alternate interior angles are congruent. So alternate interior angles, so we have 3 and 5. They are alternate interior. So angle 5 is equal to angle 3. So 105 degrees. Angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles alternate interior angles okay. if angle 5 is 105 therefore measure angle 6 is equal to so if we're going to use the alternate interior angle we can use angle 4 and 6 so angle 4 4 and 6 are congruent, so 4 is 75, so angle 6 is 75 degrees. Angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles. Now, angle 7. Angle 7 is 105. Angle 7 is 105 because 5 and 7, angle 5 and angle 7 are vertical angles and last measure of angle 8 is equal to 75 degrees because angle 6 and angle 8 are vertical angles so we're done in getting the remaining measure of the angles in a parallel line cut by a transversal Again, vertical angles are congruent, corresponding angles are congruent, alternate interior angles are congruent, alternate exterior angles are congruent. Linear pairs are supplementary, same side interior angles are supplementary, and same side exterior angles are supplementary. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.